G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get your club data and all the data you want from the view software using your Unicore iMini whilst using the third-party connector 4GS Pro. So what I'm talking about in this video is when I use the view software from my computer, it seems to really slow down and lag the actual shot data that comes into GS Pro. This is if you have too many shots backed up in your history, but also it just doesn't seem to work as streamlined as I would like. I do seem to have some issues. So what I've been doing recently is using the actual third-party connector to send the data into GS Pro on my computer. This is awesome because it's a lot less intense on your computer's graphics card, so I'm not gonna have as many frame rate issues now when I'm playing GS Pro, but then also I've been getting the data up using the view software on my iPad right in front of me while I'm hitting. This gives you the best of both worlds because you're gonna get all the data you want from the view software, including your impact location right there in front of you while you're hitting. You're also gonna get all of the data on your computer sent through to GS Pro really quickly and also not have your system bogged down running two different softwares. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so looking at my laptop there, you can see I've got GS Pro running on my laptop. If I go over to my second display, I actually just have the Unicore third-party connector running. Yes, I am running a beta as you can see, but this works as effectively if you're on the beta or the normal version. Looking now over at my hitting station, what you can see is I've actually got my iPad right in front of me hooked up to my iMini. Now how you do this is by going into the menu here and you'll see the little QR scanner code pop up there. That's the actual code that you use. You just scan the scan your iPad with using the camera app for with that QR and it'll sync up automatically. Now what that allows me to do is run the actual view software so I can tell if I want to have, you know, my shot data, I can have the actual uh, shot display from behind, I can have it from the side, I can have uh, my shot dispersion there, I can have the impact camera and all the data, I can have the actual um, session in front of me, I can look at all the shots individually, I can bring up my data screen, and then you've also got your settings there at the end. For today, I just wanna see some impact location and I want that video to come up in front of me. So what I'll do is I'll add a session and for the purpose of this, I'll just hit a wedge. So now all I'm gonna do is just hit a little three quarter wedge shot. Okay, you can see the shot go off straight away in the GS Pro world, super quick. But what I have in front of me is I have that shot that I just hit. I can see all the club data, so I can see my club path, I can see the side spin, I can see the angle of attack, but I also get my impact uh, vision camera, but also my video there. So I can see exactly how I hit the shot. All the data's there right in front of me without slowing down my computer. So. This is the most effective and the best way that I've found to actually run the view software while I'm playing GS Pro. Like I said, when I try and run the view software on my computer as well as GS Pro, I feel like it bogs down the system. I start to get frame rate issues. And if I have too many shots in the view software, it'll slow down the data going into GS Pro. So this is the best and most effective way that I've found to run the view software and actually see what my club's doing right in front of me while playing GS Pro and having a really good experience using the third-party connector on my laptop. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did let me know, any comments or questions, let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.